Hernandez uh, Miller for this Unity Award that you have received. Thank you so much for taking the time to be on with us. And I'm just so excited to hear about your mission and this amazing recognition that you've got. Thank you. <laughs> so we were we even started talking a little bit before the show and you were kind of telling me about what your goal is. I'd love to hear more about that. Um, so I'm a parent of a child with a disability. Um, it's, she's diagnosed with a chromosome abnormality they call 16Q duplication. And it's rare, so there's not much known. Um, my journey as a parent really inspired me to want to help other parents who are going through the same journey yes. or other families that are impacted by disabilities. and. Um, I just want to be able to have a community for indiv individuals and families with disabilities. It, it's so much when you go through something like that. Like, you know, we had um, a boy named Jameson on just a little bit ago in his family, and those kind of struggles really bring together, you know, other families that are going through something similar. Um, and, and it's so important to have that, to have somebody else to be able to say, oh, this happened at school to my child, or, you know, how do you deal with, with this certain situation? So can you tell us a little bit about how you do that? Um, well, I guess in my role as a community and family outreach coordinator, I have a lot of families that I connect with and very easily too because yeah. um, their journey is very similar to what I've already experienced and maybe some things are completely different, but I like to be able to support them and help them advocate for their child and I think that's really important. Yeah, it's, I think a lot of people feel overwhelmed and maybe you can Absolutely. kind of speak to that. Yeah, what kind of things do you see from people, um, you know, maybe just kind of new in this journey for them? Well, a lot of times I feel that we feel, as a parent, we feel alone. Mm -hmm. You never know um, who to connect with or, you know, what's out there, right. who's experienced the same thing you are. So it's, it's really a struggle because yeah. are you doing the right thing for your child? I mean, right. it's like, it's a very heavy weight that you have on your shoulder. Mm -hmm. You want the best always. I mean, I think any parent, you feel that way. Even if you, you don't have those same challenges, you're just like, am I doing the right thing? Am I, Absolutely. and so even more so when you've got an, other issues, you know, that you're dealing with and you just, that's all we want. We want to be able to do the most. Uh, so tell us about this award. Um, this is really cool. It is um, it's actually unexpected. It's a, a national award through PACER and it, I was nominated and I guess out of uh, whoever was nominated they yeah. narrowed it down, um, PACER did, to maybe a hundred people is what I was told. Wow. And then they had their youth board here in Minneapolis choose the recipients and there's six of us in the nation. Two wow. of us actually are from Minnesota, which is really That's exciting. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Very cool. That's what an honor. I mean, that had to feel real, just kind of well, nice, you know? Truly, yeah. it, for me, I'm really honored and it makes me feel like I'm doing the right thing. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to, I guess, I want to work with individuals and families who are impacted by disability, so yeah. I feel like I'm moving in the right direction. Definitely, yeah. And the, an award like this can really help kind of continue on that because it, it's not easy, and, you know, and you're, I'm sure you're doing a lot of this um, extra hours of volunteer work and all yeah. of that kind of thing along with being a parent. Absolutely, and honestly, I don't think I could do it without the support of the community agencies that I collaborate with mm -hmm. or the teachers who help implement the programs that I run in the schools. And um, I just feel like that connection and how great Mauer County has been um, working with me is it's amazing. Oh. I really am thankful for them. It's so good to hear, and it's so sweet of you to be so thankful. But we're so thankful for you and what you've been doing in the community to help others and just to improve our quality of life and just our journey as parents. Yeah. Thank you so much, Danielle. We sure appreciate you being on here. Uh, Danielle Hernandez-Miller, again, thank you so much. And we'll be right back with the answer of that question of the day.